Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking a look at The Town of Light. This is a psychological horror game in a way. It's very atmospheric. It's about a girl who is mentally disturbed a little bit. Um, and it takes a look about her experience in a mental hospital back in the 1940s, back when mental, uh, mental therapy was not very good. So I'm going to go start the game. Here's a little disclosure about the Town of Light is based off real facts and places as well as it has uh, references to real people, but it's entirely fictional. Or not entirely fictional, but it's it just it's just saying that it's not completely real and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. And it's also saying that mental hospitals have gotten a lot better nowadays. So I believe this takes place in Italy. I'm not entirely What's sure. Happened. What kind of place is this? Maybe I'm dead. I can't see any light. I might be dead. I can't get up. What's going on here? What's happening to me? There's no one here. Yet, these noises... God, my head is killing me. I can't keep my eyes open. So... Um, this initial loading time is kind of long, just bear that in mind, but just some backstory, you play as like, you were, I don't know how old you are now, but you played as a 16 year old girl, um, who was taken to a mental hospital, and here's where you start in this little area. Let me go ahead and change my options, I wonder if they changed, um, okay, they're okay. Actually, they might be too high while I'm recording. Let me uh, go ahead and turn that off. Um, actually, they're fine. So this is where you start. Um, I read a little bit about her journal. Um, there's this little diary that they let us read um, that explains some backstory. And she was basically seeing these like bright lights, and it was uh, messing with her mental health. So they sent her to a mental hospital back in the 1940s. So, this little starting area, I just wanted to show you some cool things. You can actually ride these rides, which is very interesting. I thought this was like so cool when I discovered this. That is amazing. Let's go ahead and get off. Let's slow down, I think. There we go. You can also do the same. I don't think you can ride these, but you can, uh, you can swing. And I know this is like a little bit off topic, but <laughs> I just thought it was awesome that the developers would even think to add this stuff because normally in games like this, um, these this stuff are just props and you can't even do anything with them. But they just decided to add that for no reason. That's really cool. And there's also some other stuff like way back here. There's this uh, greenery. Um, and I don't know. They're just the details. Like, the level of detail is just really good for, like, stuff that most people probably would pass, but pass up. So let's go, uh, back over here. Let's follow the road, actually. So the mental hospital is up there, so that's where I'm heading. I think I'm coming back to revisit, like, memories or something. I'm not entirely sure. Um... But yeah, I don't know what this place is. This is just like like a outhouse. Um, well, not an outhouse, but just a weird house. And there's nothing in there, so let's just leave. Let's uh, go through this gate over here. So, if you see stuttering or uh, like lag, 
Uh, you can blame my computer, it's not the game. This game uh, comes out in a month. It's Or not in a month, in a few weeks. It comes out February 26th. So the game is still in early, like, it's like an early build. It's a development build. So uh, if you see any glitches or problems with the graphics and stuff, it's probably something they'll fix. Um, or it's probably just my computer, because my computer is not the best computer in the world. Um, oh wait, I didn't even notice this before. What is this? What? Oh, this is cool. So there might be something I can discover over there, but I'm gonna go ahead and ignore that for now and just go to the mental home. I didn't even see that the first time I played this game. So, uh, let's go this way. This place. Time. Memory. So here is the, uh, hospital. And you can open J to just look at your memories and look at your experience and documents and it's just like that. Um, just keep going. So this is obviously an, ab an abandoned um, hospital, so there's nothing in here right now. Let's go this way and just explore, look around. The only thing I remember clearly is Charlotte, my doll. So right now I'm looking for Charlotte. I have a flashlight too, I forgot to mention that. Um, so this is definitely a very old hospital. Um, there's some weird graffiti on the wall. I'm guessing like some kids broke in. Pretty normal for places like this. So we're gonna go upstairs. Oops. And we're gonna find our doll. Um, I think she's in this room. Yeah, there she is. Mummy took good care of Charlotte. She tucked her in, hugged her, gave her cuddles and kisses. She was very affectionate and loving. Nothing bad happened to Charlotte, and I was amazed. I did not understand. At first, I was quite afraid. I feared that she wanted to hurt me. I was constantly expecting the moment when Mum would abandon her. Because I did not deserve to live. I did not deserve to be loved. Alright, so I got the, uh, doll. It's cold. It's dark. Now she's cold. She'll get ill. We mm. can take care of her. It's not forbidden. Charlotte is a good girl. Those lamps might make the room warmer. But Charlotte's uncomfortable. She doesn't feel well. Okay, so we need to go back downstairs. It would tell you this if you stayed upstairs longer, but uh I need to put her in this wheelchair. This is a comfortable place for Charlotte. But it's cold. No, no. It's cold. Don't shiver, Charlotte. The cold will go away. Alright, so we'll wheel her somewhere. I'll leave her here for now. I already played through this. To find warm lights. Let's go into the surgical ward. Okay, the surgical ward is upstairs. So what I need to do is turn on the power. So here's a breaker box. Let's go ahead and turn that on. There we go. Now we have lights. Not in every room, but in some rooms there'll be lights. So uh, what I need to do, this took me like forever to figure out um, at the beginning, but there's an elevator here, like a wheelchair elevator that I need to use to bring the wheelchair upstairs. All 
right. Oh, and um, I'm gonna just go over Let's here just Shadow to show you. The surgical ward. You may there think warm lights there. you may think why not just take her outside, and she'll it's explain. Warm in the sun, that's true. It'll turn cold in the evening. That's not good for Charlotte. I have to say, like the outside environment looks really, really nice. I mean, it's like really well textured and detailed, and it's pretty cool. But most of the game takes place inside. So, I'm gonna wheel her up. Bring her in here. Let go. Okay. Let's go to the first floor. Oops, forgot to open the door. <laughs> there we go. Uh, wheel her out. Let's turn around. Let's take her to that place where there's some lamps. Oops. There we go. The cold goes away, you see? The light. Warm. We can do it. The cold goes away. It's not forbidden. Now we can go to that ward where everything started. So I'm not sure what your uh, it all began in the observation mental disorder is, but it's something to do with seeing like very bright light and stuff like that. But first, I want to just show you these pictures over here. Um, amputees. It's, it's like showing how they remove fingers from people and I'm guessing back in the 1940s that's what they actually did to certain people like um, like cut out their tendons so they can't like spaz out or whatever uh, it's pretty insane pictures like what is going on here kinda graphic. So let's uh, go downstairs. Before I go any further I just wanted to say like if you're a little kid you might not be wanting to watch this because there's uh, some pretty uh, mature rated things that happen later on. So let's go this way. Let's open this. I can't turn around, which really freaks me out. Like, I want to know like what that sound is behind me, but I can't turn around, so I have to just keep going forward. Whoa. I thought that was like super amazing when I first played this, just like the whole room just turns around, like the gravity just changes. It's awesome. Oops. So I have to walk along here, get to the end. Everything terrified me, even thinking. 
They said they were taking me to a place where the fear would go away. Where I would get better. I stopped living in there. They dragged me away and tore off all of my clothes. Every last stitch. I tried to explain what was going on in my head. They tied me to the bed. For days. Alone with my nightmares. It wasn't fear anymore. It was madness. And when you're mad... You cease to exist. Alright, so now I'm like reliving some memories. in this hell. I was falling down amongst the damned, but that woman and her smile kept me alive. Can you imagine if you, like, had to live here for years and years? The doors locked from the outside. Here, the doors can only be locked and unlocked from the outside. Hmm, someone's out there. Uh-oh. Let's see who that is. I so keep going forward. Yep. Ah, maybe it was my doll. She like, oh wow, well, that girl is naked, and there is a person naked underneath the bench over there. Oops, let me get out of her way. Oh man, it's so messed up. Get me out of here. Who is that? He has my doll. Latched over me. It hurt when he touched me. I thought I'd split apart suddenly with a loud thud, shattered into pieces. I felt fragile, sick, dirty, filthy. All I could do was clutch Charlotte tightly while he. Rene obeyed. He was the boss in the realm of light. I was devoured by the evil I had done. I threw up and could feel hell getting closer and closer. My god, those medical examinations. The doctors said there was something inside me, which they would have dragged out of me. My god. Whoa. 
So things are starting to get interesting here. So I think I'm going to conclude my playthrough here. I don't want to spoil too much of the game before it's released. Um, so yeah, if you uh, enjoyed what you saw, be sure to check this game out on Steam. I'll put a link in the description. It's called The Town of Light, and it comes out February 26th. And so far, I feel like this game was quite interesting. And I definitely want to continue further. It doesn't seem to be like too much of a horror game, just more of like a uh, exploration of a mental hospital back in the uh, 1940s. So yeah, um, hopefully you guys have a great day.